Today, an emergency meeting planned and requests for funding groups on campus. That's all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Hello Ospreys, I'm Taylor Johnson. You're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. The Constitution and Statute Committee met on October 20th from 5.30 in the afternoon until almost 8 that night to discuss revising Statute 408.4. This follows a hearing where much of the judicial deliberation was on the word passage. They came to the conclusion they would need to change the statute to see Senate policies and procedures. They will revise Senate policies and procedures in an emergency meeting on October 27th and will create two separate timelines for the statute. One timeline will be for bills that require statute revision, and the other will be for bills that don't. The emergency meeting is scheduled for next Monday prior to the Senate meeting. On October 20th at the Budget and Allocations Committee meeting, Campus Crusade for Christ, also known as CRU, requested $2,000 in travel funding. This was to send an additional 10 students to the Southeast Winter Crew Conference. According to CRU's presentation, they received a $3,500 private donation to give 20 students scholarship for the conference. They were seeking additional money to provide scholarships for 10 more students. Members of the committee had no questions and approved the request 7 to 0. Armando Mitra, the SG Digital Media Coordinator, made a special request on behalf of Command Plus in Design, a graphic design club. The club requested just over $4,500 to fund a showcase for UNF's graduating graphic design seniors. He said they're expecting around 400 people and have reserved the lobby and atrium at the Museum of Contemporary Art. The club also arranged that all MOCA exhibitions would be open and free to students at this event. He said the event will showcase 21 seniors' work. The VAC approved the request 7 to 0. The showcase will be at MOCA on December 10th and is open to all UNF students. All right, Ospreys, it's time to see what's going on with the weather. Let's toss it over to Alex Krotz. Hey there, Ospreys. I hope you're enjoying this cool Wednesday morning. I'm Alex Krotz here with your Spinnaker weather update. It looks like this cool fall weather is sticking around, at least for another day, UNF. As you can currently see, the sun is waking up and will be shining all day, but only giving us a high of 78 degrees. Northern winds will be coming in from 7 to 11 miles per hour, with gusts up to 21 miles per hour. Definitely not dress-friendly weather, ladies. But talk about a nice day to roll down those windows. And tonight, we're looking at clear skies with a low around 55 degrees and calmer winds. If you're wanting to paddle out today, Surfline reports that waves will be from 1 to 2 feet. That's about ankle to knee high. Well, that's it for today's weather update. But before we head back on over to the desk, let's take a look at your three-day forecast. Thanks, Alex. And now for your sports update, let's toss it to Christian Rue. Hey, Ospreys. I'm Christian Rue here with your Spinnaker Sports Report. We start on the court as the UNF volleyball team defeated Florida A&M University on the road 3-2 last night. The win comes after two of the team's players were awarded weekly honors Monday. Kerry Whitmire tabbed the A-Suns Defensive Player of the Week, while Courtney Miller was the Freshman of the Week. This is the second time that both have earned the respective honors this season. The team returns home for the River City Rumble versus JU this Friday at 6 p.m. The men's golf team recently finished in fifth place at the Tavistock Collegiate Invitational. The Ospreys finished with a tournament total of 15 under par, 849. Senior golfer Joey Petronio carded a final round, wait for it, Hole in one on Tuesday. UNF returns to action October 27th through 28th at the Quail Valley Collegiate in Vero Beach, Florida. That's it for sports today. Now let's toss it back to Taylor at the desk. Thanks, Christian. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Alex Kratz and Christian Rue, I'm Taylor Johnson. Have a great day, UNF.